Back in the year 1776, mechanical engineer James Watt invented the first practical steam engine, which was very important for the development of the Industrial Revolution throughout the world. It consisted on a boiler for producing high-pressure steam, a cylinder with its corresponding piston, a crankshaft with its connecting rod, a flywheel to render fluent rotation, and finally a valve to control the application of steam pressure alternately on each side of the piston. These little stops are used to move the control valve whenever required. Using this drawing, we'll see how it works, step by step. The fire is lit in the water boiler, which brings the water to its boiling point and produces steam under pressure. The steam, illustrated here using red lines, is fed to the cylinder from the left side of the piston. The pressure of the steam pushes the piston to the right side of the drawing. The connecting rod turns the crankshaft. When the piston is about to reach the right end of its stroke, one of the stops drags the control valve and diverts the steam so that it pushes the piston to the left and keeps turning the crankshaft until completing one revolution. When the piston reaches the end of its stroke to the left, the other stop drags the valve again, so the next push exerted on the piston moves it to the right side, thus starting a new cycle. As you can see, operation is fairly straightforward, but it marked an era in industry and transportation. I hope this video has been interesting for you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Shavatarin.